So the next section that we move on to is dilations in the coordinate plane. So center of dilation, where is that at? Well, if it's not mentioned, it's always going to be at the origin in this course. If it's not at the origin, it will actually say where it is at. But for example, number six, it says determine the coordinates of A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime, and find the scale factor. So we know that it's a dilation. The dilation is going to be at the origin, which is at zero, zero on our graph. But let's take a look at this. So here's A. Um, this is the point A is two and one. And I'm just going to do A prime right here beside it. And that point is six and three. And then B, the point is five and one. And B prime, that point is 15 and three. And C, that point is at three and six. And then C prime, that is the point, let's see, nine and 18. So when we look at this here, we have to find the scale factor of the prime, our dilation to our original to get the scale factor. Because remember, if our scale factor is larger than one, then it has expanded. And that's what is happening here is our dilation is getting larger. It's expanding. So and if I look at A here, this is six and three and or that is a prime is six and three and a is two and one so if i just look at my values for x here you know say a of x to a prime of x that will give me my scale factor which is going to be six to two which is three to one so my scale factor is three to one and if i look at all of them here even if i look at a y to a prime y, that's going to be three and three to one as well. And if I look at all of any of these in here, I can see that that holds true. So five times three is 15, one times three is three, three times three is nine, and six times three is 18. So my, so my scale factor here is three to one.